Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically update the uh, Notion database with Make. So it is going to be very easy. So we are going to head over make.com, sign in for our account, and you're going to see, as you can see here, the organization or the, uh, let's say here, uh, the dashboard of your account. Now we're going to make sure that we have at least the a database connected or added to our uh, team spaces in the Notion. So we are going to head over Notion.so. Then we are going to sign in for our account. Then we are going to select one of the of the projects that we have and make sure that we have. Maybe we're going to connect the task tracker. For this method, we need only an ID for this um, project or the ID or, or the project ID, as you can see in here, which is going to be represented for, with this um, long, as you can see, code. Now, what we're going to do basically is to head over the scenarios and create a new scenario. It is going to be composed of two uh, ac or one trigger and one action. We're going to have here the first trigger, which is going to be here from Notion. We're going to click on it and then we're going to have, as you can see, the database items. So we can go ahead and click on watch database item. I'm going to click on that. So we're going to watch it. So watch database item based on time or created time or updated time. Since we are going to up use the update, maybe we are going to update the time. The database is going to be in here with um, related to that specific ID. We're going to copy the ID, put it in here, and we're going to set up maybe the number of the results during one execution cycle. So I'm going to have maybe uh, three. So we're going to click on save. This is the first step. Where to choose, you can go ahead and click on manually in here, and you're going to test out, as you can see here, um, the specific note. So we have here improved website. Let's see here, what do we have? improve website so you can go ahead and uh, use them all or set up uh, all of them so i'm going to set up only all of them and we're going to add another module which is going to be from uh here notion and we're going to have update a database item so we're going basically here to update the database so we can go ahead and have the list we can go ahead and have here this one so basically, I'm going to copy and paste the same database. And then we're going basically to have the database item. So we are going to have the item in here. How we can access the item, for example, we are going to select the item itself. So we're going to have maybe an item uh, opened just like that. So we're going to see if we're going to open an item. I'm going to click on open. And normally we're going to see a reference for that item. So let's see here. This is the uh, reference of the item. So we're going to have it as until here. We're going to copy that item. And at the end, we're going to paste it just like that. And we're going to wait for it. So this is the reference or database item ID. You can go ahead and add a task name, for example, in here. Uh, created so we are going to find here the um, name maybe task name or like that set up the description for example you're going to search for a description add it in here status also maybe you're going to use the to do or in progress whatever you want you can add it here the priority click on save and here as you can see we have created the watch database item and update a database item based on the specific as you can see column for it so that was pretty much here for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.